While there are moments that define the sport and remain etched in memory for years to come, there are also instances that mar the game. Controversies are never welcome, but they seem to be inevitable in life and cricket is no different. Let us have a look at some of the incidents that rocked the cricket world this year. Firstly, we have the Indian Premier League, which has a number of critics and they grew. Why? Because five cricketers were caught in a sting operation for alleged murky deeds. The players at the centre of attention were Monish Mishra, Abhinav Bali, Amit Yadav, Taduri Sudendra and Shalab Srivastav. The BCCI immediately suspended them. And later on, Sudendra was banned for life for his role in spot fixing, Srivastav was banned for five years, while the three remaining players were handed one-year bans each. Secondly, the focus is yet again on the IPL. Shah Rukh Khan, the Kolkata Knight Riders owner, found himself in hot water during the IPL 2012. He was involved in an altercation with the security and the Mumbai Cricket Association officials at the Wankhede Stadium. And this was after his side's game against the Mumbai Indians. The MCA then banned him from the Wankhede for five years, even as the actor said that he had gone to pick up his children and the officials themselves didn't behave well then. And third, there's no shortage of drama in Indian cricket, is there? Mohinder Amarnath, the former selector, came out and said that the selection committee had all but decided to replace Dhoni from captaincy. But it was blocked by the BCCI top brass. These were absolutely shocking revelations as India were heading towards a home series defeat to England. The heat was on Dhoni and Amarnath's statements and criticisms increased the pressure on the Indian captain. And fourthly, we have Kevin Peterson who's always there in the thick of things. He found himself at odds with the England and Wales cricket board. Firstly, he announced his retirement from limited overs internationals, citing the tough schedule as the reason. Then, during the series against South Africa, he said during a press conference that there were some problems in the England dressing room. It was also alleged that he sent text messages to the South African players, which were critical to Andrew Strauss and Andy Flaw. After all that, he said in a video on YouTube that he was available for all the formats. But the ECB had enough and they dropped him from the test squad and didn't pick him for the World T20. However, both sides made up and Peterson came back into the side for the tour to India. Lastly, we have Mahendra Singh Dhoni again. He demanded turning tracks during the series against England and that not only backfired but also rubbed wrong ways with the numerous ex-cricketers. A lot of them criticised him for his demands and said that he wasn't justified. However, his biggest adversary was the Eden Gardens curator, Prabir Mukherjee. He termed Dhoni's demands as immoral and later the BCCI sent an East Zone curator to Kolkata. However, Dhoni and Mukherjee sorted their differences out, even as India slipped to a defeat against England. Well, we hope 2013 is a much better year and such controversies do not come to the fore more often. Keep watching Cricket Country on YouTube.